Hello, we're the Anderson family and we'll be spending our weekend at a smart ski resort. We've heard it's equipped with new connected services that will give us fast and easy access to the slopes. We've downloaded an application to create our own family group and stay connected. During the car ride, we reserved a parking spot, the shuttle bus, our ski packs and we even purchased our ski passes. The boys also looked at the webcams and checked out the different slopes. The snow park is open. The application is great. A parking spot and five seats inside the shuttle are already booked for us. Our digital ski passes have been automatically sent to us and our profiles have been used to prepare our ski equipment. Everything is ready and waiting for us. The GPS is announcing that we're approaching the parking lot. We're so close to the slopes. Look, it's guiding us to our parking spot. They're really expecting us. I can't wait. The app has guided us to the shuttle stop and the schedules have popped up on our phones. The next one should be here in one minute. There it is, right on time. The shuttle left us right at the equipment rental area. The kids and I found our ski packs and our smart wristbands easily thanks to our personalized individual lockers. Talk about smooth sailing. Our wristbands are individually paired to our skis and to our phones. Off to the slopes. We have a choice between two activities for our family to discover the ski domain. We choose the first one to warm up all together. Thanks to our connected equipment, our progression is continuously recorded. We don't just ski, we improve our style and enjoy new sensations. But most of all, we're having a lot of fun. Now that we're all warmed up, let's try a new application option, a virtual treasure hunt. My sweet daughter uses my phone to catch the virtual mountain animals. We learn a lot about this enhanced natural environment. In the meantime, my sons have been challenging each other on a connected slope. Sensors record their performances all along the slope. They will access the data later on their phones and have fun sharing the experience. My husband? He decided to challenge Korean skiers all day through an international amateur competition. Look at the scoreboard, he finished first. Wait, my wristband indicates I've just received a message from him. The ski resort application indicates the fastest way to get there on the slopes and points to the nearest ski lifts. It was such a good day. The dinner was so lively with everyone sharing what they did. We even had surprise discounts for participation in the different skiing activities. It was also a busy day for the station staff. The head of operations gathered a lot of useful data to ensure safety, monitor the resort's infrastructure performance and adapt services to the number of skiers to ensure optimal user experience, an efficient way to manage the station and his team. For example, today the manager informed his team that the resort reached a new record in affluence. Customers are saying they are satisfied with their skiing experience. Smart wristbands triggered three interventions and extra maintenance was required on the ski lifts. So, during the daily staff meeting, the team decided to inspect two ski lifts, strengthen signs in some low visibility slope intersections, activate snow guns at night to cover some areas with fresh snow and inform all rescue teams of today's accident locations. And you know what? The unique and exciting experiences we had today are made possible by an innovative technological platform we hadn't even imagined. It's called Sentinact. Throughout the day, intangible communication interactions were at work. Heterogeneous devices, information systems, communication protocols and other connected objects were cooperating using the Sensinact platform to make our superb family outing possible. Sensinact is also part of the WISE Internet of Things or IoT platform which ensures interoperability between worldwide smart ski resorts. I'm already looking forward to experiencing the next Winter Olympic Games of Pyeongchang remotely in 2018.